All right, fellas, part three of uh, your tap clutch. Now I'm just putting it back on here. Uh, you know, make sure you use brake clean on the male shaft and the female side of your clutch. Get those nice and clean. Your clutch bolt. Throw it around back in there. Snug it up a little bit. Okay. Grab my torque wrench over here. Again, guys, sorry the, uh, this video is pretty shitty, but that's the tool I was telling you guys about. It's for holding your clutch for torquing or disassembly. But, anyways, you can put this sucker in there and hold it back up. I've got mine set to 86 foot pounds right now. You'll hear it popping on there. Normal. It's just making itself at home. That's not the wrench clicking. There it is. Now I'm going to turn it up to 96, and this is, hey, you know, I've had to figure all this stuff out. If you guys want to do a, a different torque spec, feel free, but this is what I've come up with, and it, you know, it's been working, so. There's so many mixed reviews on taps online, if you can find anything at all. And just a little bit of pull up, tool comes off, your clutch is done, guys. Uh, throw your spring back on there, your your, uh, your cover plate, all that's by hand. You don't need a compressor or anything. Hopefully the light wasn't blinding the camera. Uh, but anyways, that's it, fellas. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can help somebody.